when Allah Almighty created us he could have created us in any way he willed and wished and that's what he did he could have chosen another way and we could have all been created in the same way that Adam was created for Allah it's just be and it is if he wants something he wants to make something he wants to create something the Quran mentions in more than one place and I'm going to read one of the verses perhaps um, from Surah Yasin so that many of us might be able to follow the last verse Amazing verse. I'm sure you know what it means, right? The command of Allah when He wants to create something is just Kun. Kun means be. And it is, so glory be to He. In whose hands lies ownership of everything in existence. And unto Him shall we return. So he chose to create us in a way that the first of our species was made with sand, dust, soil, clay, the different stages mixed with water, then a shape given to it. And then he blew a soul into it. And lo and behold, it was a human being. And Allah taught Adam, may peace be on him, the names of everything. Allah says, He taught Adam the names of everything. So when he came into existence, he already knew how to speak, and he was grown adult. But after that, the others who were created, they were created in a different way. Eve, Hawa, may peace be on her, was created from a part of Adam, according to the Quran. And thereafter, Jesus, may peace be on him, was created through a female without the involvement of a male. So if you look at those three, Adam was created without the involvement of a male, without the involvement of a female. That's the power of the creator. Eve was created without the involvement of a female through a male. Jesus, may peace be upon him, was created without the involvement of a male, but just through a female. And the rest of us, created through male and female that's Allah all the probabilities and possibilities have been displayed to us the power of the Lord Allah